Dominic's Clay Channel, and today this is going to be my very first unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo video. Today we're going to be unboxing Nibbles the Clown from Spirit Halloween. Um, a few days ago I made a post saying that I ordered Nibbles, um, and it actually came in really quick. Usually it takes like a I don't know, like four or five weeks for it to get here, but I'm surprised it got here a little earlier. I didn't expect that. I'm so happy that I got this guy and I'm super excited to unbox him and he's just going to look really great in my haunt. All right, without further ado, let's unbox him. Okay, let's start by opening up his box. It's inside. All right. Here we got the instructions. Just put that right there. Um, this might be this might be the head. I'm pretty sure. But as we can see, we can see all the other parts. Okay. Uh, now we have the. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are might be like the. Uh, the foam for the legs. Uh, I guess in this one also as well. Um, I'm going to just like take all the stuff out off camera, just for right now, because I might need two hands to get the rest of the stuff out. So I opened the box with the head inside. I haven't opened it yet, but let's open it right now. Oh, I can see the head. All right, here we have the jester hat. Here is the head. Oh wow, that's really creepy. And it's not really deformed at all. It looks really cool and creepy. And here is the adapter. I was wondering where this was. Uh, here's a better look at the head. I really like it so much. Really creepy. So I gathered all the pieces out of the box. I will be listing them what they are. First we have the the instructions, the back metal piece, the clothing, all the uh, leg pieces, the main mechanism, two of the arms, the hand holding the lollipop, and the other hand, two of the shoes, the hip metal piece, the uh, foam legs, the head, the jester hat, the metal base, and the adapter. First, you're going to put the metal base where you want to set them up, and it has to be facing where these little things are right here. I don't know where they're called, but yeah. Then you're going to attach the leg metal poles, labeled B, onto the base, so like right here. Then next up, you're going to add the shoes, just in here. And then they're going to be one of the face, and they're going to want to face where these uh, things right here are sticking out. So they're gonna be facing me. Then you're going to want to add the other two leg poles, labeled C. Just like that. Then you're going to slide in the foam legs in the here. There we go. Then you're going to want to slide the pants. Make sure it's facing this way so the stripes face left and the blue faces the right. Then when you're done putting on the pants, you got to make sure that these two are sticking out and then you want to attach them to the hip frame. Then once you're done attaching the hip frame to the legs, then you're going to want to add the mechanism with the speaker. Next up, you're going to plug in the adapter right here. And next up, you're going to add the shirt. Make sure it's facing this way. Also, don't forget to add the back metal piece. 
Then next, you're going to slide in the arm pieces from the shirt and bring them all the way to these little things right here. Same with the other side. So once you're done sliding in the arm pieces from the clothing and connect them to the mechanism, you're going to now add the hands. So you're going to add this hand holding the lollipop onto the arm with the stripes. Then you're going to add the other hand and attach it to the other arm. Then you're going to attach the head and you're going to, to attach it to this little pole right here. Okay, so I attached the head and he already looks very scary. Just look at that face. And he's definitely going to scare a lot of trick-or-treaters. Then you uh, come around here and you got all these wires. So make sure to connect the right wires so that the uh, mouth moves, the head moves, the arm moves and everything. Then once you're done connecting the wires, you want to come to the speaker and the switch right here that did the switch turns him on and off and the switch right here you can higher the voice up or you can lower it down if it's too loud next up you're going to velcro in the collar so there's like a velcro on his neck and a velcro on the collar uh, next up you're going to add the jester hat which the head has velcros around and so does the hat then finally, you're going to plug in your adapter to any outlet, but there isn't a outlet around here, so I'm going to have to move him. So here he is all set up. Um, I had to uh, do a couple of demos of him off camera just to make sure that he is working fine. And he is, so I am going to do a demo of him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I see you! You can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step. It's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? <laughs> well, well, well. You've caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> I'm harmless, mostly. <laughs> there was his demo, and I gotta say... I really like this guy. He is probably the most scariest clown animatronic spirit has ever made this year. I really like that his nose has a motion tracking sensor. Uh, the face looks just really creepy and everything else about him just looks fantastic. Um, so this is going to be it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this first unboxing, setting up, and demo video. Uh, please like this video and also please subscribe and I'll see you all very soon.